In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a needle gauge chart like this, where we have the needle with a nice animation. We'll make sure we have these percentage with animation. And of course, we have here the label set here on danger and success. So let's start to look how we can do this. So let's start to look how to create a gauge chart with a needle in Chart.js 4. So we have here the boiler template, and this boiler template you can find here on Chart.js free.com getting started this link you can find as well in the description box once you're on here scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go next if you want to get the source code of this video and many of my other videos check out my patreon page so let's start to work on it and i'm going to just do it step by step here uh, we're going down here into our scale or sorry not in our scale but in our data here and oh before i even do that i want to make sure that this is of course a donut chart so we make this donut, all right. Then what I want to do is I want to remove the scale because we don't have a scale in a donut chart. Next, let's remove the labels or this legend here because we don't need this. So I'm going to say plugins, legend, and then we'll put this on here as display false, display set on false, save, refresh, there we are. So now what I want to do is I want to rotate or slice this rotation in half. To do that, let's go here, put a comma, and then in here I'm going to say circumference, and we say here 180 uh, degrees, because that's a half uh, circle. So what I want to do now is of course rotate this properly, or at least the starting position, if you can see here, it starts at the very top. I don't want that, I want to start here, so it will be like a rainbow arc. So put a comma here, and then what I will say here is the rotation, so how many degree do we need to rotate? Well, if we are starting here, we need to rotate 90, another 90, and another 90. So 3 times 90 is 270. So 270 degrees of rotation. Save that, refresh, there we are. So now we have this here. We could slice this a bit. In this case, I want to make it a bit more thinner or more narrow. I'm going to say a cutout percentage, or cutout, and I'm going to say here 80%. Save, refresh, now that looks quite nice. So now what I want to do is at least change the positioning of this here. So because we have here a lot of white space above and down, and I want to change that. For that, we'll put in here enter, I'm going to say here aspect ratio. By default, it is set on one. I want to change that now to, let's say 1.5. And the reason why 1.5, it would mean that the uh, width will be one and a half times the size of or the height, which is perfect. And by default, a square is one, one. So you can see here we have enough space up, enough space down. If you don't like that, you can play around. But if you do two, you will see that it will be two less space here up and down. And we'll be needing space. So you can check around and maybe play around with it with 1.6, 1.5, whatever you're comfortable with. All right, so now we have this here. And in the next part, we're going to focus on starting to draw the needles.